This Australian study has found that COVID-19 binds more tightly to human ACE2 than to any of the other animals they tested. Professor Nikolai Petrovsky, who you are about to hear from, has been working on a vaccine for the coronavirus after developing vaccines for Ebola, influenza and animal SARS. He's from the College of Medicine and Public Health at Flinders University. If we block ACE2 or we remove ACE2 from the cells, the virus can't get inside and so it actually can't infect us. So it's a very critical step in, in making this virus able to infect humans is it has to be able to bind ACE2. Now, in this case, this virus binds ACE2 in humans better than any other animal. So that means it's better adapted to infect humans than, than any other animal. And that's surprising because it, 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 you know, we're not aware that it, it actually has had, um, had the opportunity to, do, to adapt to this human receptor before. Professor, how do you know it adapts to humans better than any other animal? So we were able to model uh, the binding of the COVID-19 uh, spike protein to ACE2 from a whole range of different species, from human to monkey to pangolins, cats and dogs, um, you know, a whole variety of different species. And what we're able to show with the, the modelling approach is that the binding of the virus to human cells was stronger than for the cells of any other species. So it really looked like this was a virus that, that is optimally designed to infect humans.